it says a rectangular floor of a room measures 5.4 long and 4.2 meters wide the room is to be covered with a square tiles calculate the minimum number of square tiles that can be used to cover the floor so we can do this by okay maybe we start by making a sketch of that floor so this is uh, the floor to be covered uh, so we are told this is 5.4 meters and this is 4.2 meters now with that we need to know how many number of tiles can fit exactly in this side that is 4.2 and uh, the same size of uh, tiles can fit on this other side so that there is no gap remaining and uh, this means that we need to find the, LC, uh, the GCD of 5.4 and uh, 4.2 uh, with that then uh, because it will be difficult to get the GCD of 5.4 and uh, 4.2 when they are in decimal so we multiply by 10 so we say this is 54 and we can write with 4 in terms of its factor so this is 2 uh, this is 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 then the same case we do with 4.2 we get 42 we get this is 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 7 so to get the GCD uh, we normally get what is common so we can say 2 times 3 is common for both so this is 2 times 3 uh, which gives us uh, 6 and because we multiply the numbers by 10 we divide 6 by 10 we get 0 0.6 so it means uh, that is the greatest uh, common divisor that can work for 4.2 and 5.4 so to get the number of tires or rather that would be the size of uh, the tire this is uh, 0 0.6 meters or 60 centimeter so to just work with with uh, meters we divide 5.4 we divide by the size of one uh, tire which uh, we got uh, the side is 0 0.6 and this will be able to get it is equals to 9 uh, then we take uh, 4.2 we divide by 0 0.6 and that will give us uh, uh, 7 so it means that 7 squares will be able to fit on the shorter side and 9 squares so we get the number of tires Uh, would be a 9 multiplied by 7 and that will give you 63 tiles so it means that we have 63 tiles we will be able the minimum of 64 63 tiles we will be able to fit on this uh, uh, rectangular floor and that is how you get you do that